I'm Phil Guyman. I was a pro cyclist for 10 years. Now I'm retired, but I still train as hard as I can to set the best times on the toughest climbs I can find and go on fun adventures on my bike all over the world. This is Worst Retirement Ever. So a lot of times people ask me, uh, they're like, hey, can you make a video about, and it'll be something super easy, uh, like, you know, what tire pressure you use. And I'll be like, I don't wanna make a video about that. I'll just tell you I run 85 in, in my, you know, like my Canada tubeless. Uh, yesterday I got a message and the guy was asking, hey, where, I'm, I'm out visiting Malibu. Uh, where do I get water? There's no, there's no gas stations out there in the canyons. Uh, so, you know, where do you stop? And it's all these little secret spots. So I thought I was gonna go for a stupid long ride with Ben today anyway. So I thought it'd be a fun video to just like make, just show you every water fountain I could possibly get to. Cause there are a lot of sneaky ones. And if you happen to visit, uh, now you know. And if you don't, you know, you just come on a fun ride with me. So the first one, I just blew by it. I just started, but Peddler's Fork doesn't even really count cause it's like a store. But of course they got water being a restaurant and whatnot. Um, but next we're gonna show you like, obviously like folks have them in their driveways. Um, a lot of cyclist friendly people or, <laughs> or cyclist ignorant people that don't know that we're stealing their water all the time, uh, scattered throughout the hills. So I'm gonna show you one by one. We'll see if we can get to all of them today. First, I gotta find Ben. All right, the first, uh, the first water fountain in the wild is the, the Water Hole Inn, it calls itself. Um, we're, we're real close to Peddler's Fork still. This is like 500 meters up uh, Old Topanga Road, um, which we also call Geriatric Topanga, Octogenarian Topanga. Occasionally, Ben, I might refer to it uh, privately, of course, as Saggy Balls Topanga. You get the idea, but we're right near Mulholland, and uh, here's a nice little sneaky water spot that uh, obviously is, is empty, if you don't mind, the, the raccoons. All right, so I found Ben on uh, on Old Topanga. Or what other nickname? Grandpa Topanga. What geriatric else do we have? Geriatric Topanga. I did, I did geriatric. I did saggy balls. Oh. What are we missing? X-rated. <laughs> I'll, I'll hit the not for kids button on Retired this one. Retired Topanga. Retired Topanga. Well, that would mean it's getting KOMs left and right. So now that we've connected, uh, it's time to remove the uh, the earbud which is, I've got the, the Jaybird Vistas. So they, they messaged me to, to do a little sponsorship. And they're like, what's your address for product? I was like, good news. I've been using these for years. Uh, so you can send me a new one anyway. But, uh, but I already had some, as did Ben has the, the Terra Pros, which are the, the wired version. Take those out, you antisocial, rude person. Oop, car back, single up. There we go. Anyway. We're trying to YouTube over here. We're trying to YouTube. All right, so in the, uh, in the description, there's a link. Phil sent me for discount on Jaybird. Thanks to those folks for, uh, for helping out, keeping, shoving coal in the old engine of my YouTube channel. Um, we're now on Fernwood in, uh, coming up from Topanga towards our first water spot. You thirsty yet, Ben? Haven't taken a sip. Haven't taken a sip. No, it's winter, but you know, when you get here in the summer, you'll be quite parched on Fernwood. Ben has perfect insect antenna hair today in the helmet. It's a hard look. So that's good. That's good. Also got the braid going. Baby cherry stockings in the back. I can't keep up with that style. I've just got like a cookie heart gator. Next water stop is uh, just past the Buddha on Fernwood. You go to the Buddha, and then uh, I have thanked the, the driver of this Mini Cooper. Oh wait, where is it? It's over here. See, they're sneaky. But uh, this little spot, uh-oh, it's got tape over it. It's been COVID, by the time you get here, it'll be fine. <laughs> ben, I'm sure you're out of water. It's been five minutes since we didn't have a sip. We're okay, we're okay, keep going. But that one, that one, they'll, they'll take care of it. These folks are cool. 
if I had a if I had a water fountain, I might have turned it off during a pandemic. You know, it's fair. I'd say that one's kind of an emergency water stop. Obviously, it's not a water stop right now, but it had bad pressure. You know, it's very close to this other one at the top of Stunt. No, no insult. Ooh, this is a view. Smoggy, but pretty city view. The uh, no insult to those folks, but it was sort of a, a trickling. It belongs on Old T. <laughs> Put it that way. Belongs on uh, Low T Topanga. All right, we're now up at uh, Saddle Peak, the very top here. See as many videos before. Uh, we're gonna go down Stunt to the next water stop. Ironically, there's a truck full of water. Oh no, that could be poop. Yeah, they don't drink from the pump and dump truck. Don't drink from that. At least knock on the thing and ask the guy. Um, anyway. Morning. Morning. Next, we got uh, just just a, maybe 500 meters down from the top of Stunt. Water courtesy, 331 Stunt Road. And that one is, it's a good stream. This is the classiest fountain. In this, the is, this is one of our best fountains um, in, in this region. So shout out to 331. Not to be confused with 335. They share a driveway. They're probably all cool. All right, we're gonna go down more. Wait for it. Ooh, hey, there's more GoPro! There's more. Beautiful tree-lined road. I just love this road right here. It's water you can get. Ben made a Gillette joke. Okay, can you say it again? It's the best water you can get. The best water a man can get. King Gillette Ranch. I made the joke before about Queen Schick Ranch. Different video. Not that good of a joke. Corvettes. More Corvettes. All right, next up we've got a old place. So we're near the bottom of a rock store on Mulholland, uh, city of Cornell. And the, there's the, the old truck in the very back, which is a great place to stop for a coffee, only open on weekends. Uh, old Place is a restaurant that I've not gone to, um, but right here is a water fountain. Ben found uh, another thing. It's a new one. Mm, bad luck. Now we're at the top of, uh, of Decker Canyon in Malibu, so it's uh, Mulholland Highway goes that way. So there's more water that away uh, on like, it's Little Sycamore, top of Yerba. Little Sycamore, you did it. Little Sycamore. Good job. I think that's right. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go all the way over. That's an extra like 40 minutes and I'll be uh, getting home in the dark if I do that. But uh, there's water that away, all right? <laughs> that away. You see it? Cool. Cool. They'll find it. It's like a ranger station and it's a whole, you know, it's not one of the sneaky ones. It's like pretty conspicuous. Um, all right, pedaling. Next stop is a 
fire station number 72. I don't know where 71 is. 69 is Topanga, isn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> so we, we gotta do that math. Oh, actually no, there's one on top of Shuren. That's a fire st Stay on topic, Phil. Uh, there's a water fountain here. That's a, that's a good spot for water. So we're like the top of Decker, right before Decker dumps down. Um, normally I try to remember I'm probably 50-50 success rate. I'll keep like a little baggie of first endurance mix in my, in my, my front bag over here. Uh, I messed that up today. So we're just going pure water. Um, we're, where do we, 6,000 feet in, 50 miles? We're doing all right, it is getting, it is getting hot. I'm glad we're, this all about hydration. Um, I'm, I'm three splits in. Uh, this is, uh, this is getting to be a real day. So I guess I'll stop talking and, uh, let's go down to the water, huh? All right, next up, right here off of, uh, Pacific Coast Highway. Uh, we're kind of just near the bottom of Latigo. We're between, we're between Latigo and Corral Canyon uh, on the, the water side of PCH. Um, this is a, there's a water fountain here. Uh, this, this is Dan Blocker Beach, it's called. Uh, this is where I, I crashed and tore my hands up that one time. Uh, I don't know how that happened, but that's my relationship with, uh, with hand up gloves began there. So that worked out nicely. Basically, like, I, I'm not gonna go through, there's lots of places to get water on the Pacific Coast Highway Park. Basically, like, any little beach stop, there's a, there's a couple restrooms and a water fountain. Uh, anywhere you see something like that, I'm not gonna detail all those. This, this side of the hill isn't hard. It's the, it's the canyons where hydration can get a little tricky. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna head up to the next one of those. Yeah, that's pretty good. First, we're gonna look at the water for a minute. Hang on, I'm just gonna do a little. You see any dolphins? No dolphins today. All right, next one, and uh, I believe this is the. There's, there's two more from this. Um, bottom of Las Flores. So PCH is just 500 meters that away. Uh, there's a little park down here, and a, and a water fountain, which has the bag over it for that, but the the bottle feature. Uh, is still is still on track. Um, Las Flores is it's it's one of the steeper climbs around here. Uh, like me going up at zone two is still a good like 40 45 minutes. Uh, so you definitely want to have two full water bottles for it. it can get weirdly hot. Uh, so don't don't skip this one because you'll regret it. it's a it's a long way to the next one. The old Las Flores. The next one, we're now at the top of Payuma. Uh, so the ocean is back that away, and the uh, the valley is over there. This is the sneakiest one, I would say, in the canyons. Look out for the cement fish. It's a little cement fish. And then over here is a spigot. Uh, a lot of times there's a bunch of ants over here. But uh, it's a good spigot. It's good flow. Um, that's all I got to say. How much can you talk about a spigot? Uh, all right, there's one more stop. One more stop, huh? Say spigot again. I like the word spigot. It's a fun word. I like how it's spelled too. S P I G O T, spigot. English major, showing off. Thank you. All right, then the last one is uh, another fire station. What number is this? Uh, 67. 67, that's out of order. I think it should be a different number. Um, but I'm not going to argue. Uh, they got a covered wagon. And there's a, a water fountain right over here. How you doing today? I didn't want to bother that guy. There's a nice little, there's a water fountain. There's a nice little bench. I should end this with a, with a ghost of water stops stop, which is top of seven minute hill. There's this little like private development thing. And there was a, a group ride, it was a Saturday morning to see me ride. We finish here and there's a spigot and everyone kind of linger and, and fill it up. And I think, I think at some point the, the, the rich folks in the neighborhood decided to put a stop to it and that's no longer allowed. Um, but there's, there was another one on top of Latigo 
which I actually spoke to the owner because he'd, he'd locked it off. He had to use pliers to open it now. And he said there were too many cyclists leaving trash at the free spigot. Uh, so that I guess that serves us right. All right, it was a good ride, Ben. We uh, look at 10,000 feet, uh, 82 miles, a little over five hours. But yeah, I'll tell you what, all this drinking water, I've got to pee. Maybe that's our next video, all the places to pee in Malibu. <laughs> There are a lot of porta potties around. <laughs> yeah, um, really anywhere there's nobody looking is the answer. So that's uh, so it's full circle in the uh, the human body water cycle. So now I dropped off Ben. He's heading back to his house over uh, elderly Topanga, and uh, I got the earbuds back in. The uh, one thing I don't want is you know I want peace on my bike rides, which. Do not include my own thoughts. So the volume's got to be enough. I can hear the traffic, but uh, drown out my old thoughts and uh, anxieties and whatnot. So it's a. I've got a lot of practice. I know. I know the buttons for that. Have a good ride. See you guys.